All right, peace family, it's Phoenix. Uh, what I'm brewing up today is some dream herbs. Uh, this is Selene Capensis, which is known as the African dream herb. Most of these herbs were discovered, quote unquote, accidentally when you listen to the indigenous tales. Um, this has a very sweet aroma. I mean, it smells like a fresh cinnamon flavored honey tea a little hint of ginger and I'm, I'm loving the vibes that it's releasing into my home um <clears throat> now you're supposed to grind they come in like little roots look like little sticks you're supposed to grind them up and make a powder i've been grinding i've been grinding for a while i'll tell you that and um it's starting to form a little fine powder but some of these sticks are a little stubborn so I'm going to grind for a couple more hours. I'm going to put in some water. I'm going to shake it up. Now, uh, the reason why I'm doing this, like I said, it's in the name. Selene Capensis, African Dream Herb, Dream Root. It's going to help you uh, connect to your spirit guides. It's going to wake you up in the astral, give you more vivid dreams, give you more uh, prophetic dreams. Even last night, I had a prophetic dream to where... Um, I saw some events that are to take place in the future, um, dealing with the children, our future generations, and uh, the spiritual warfare that we're going through currently. I, I've been seeing a lot of that lately, and um, last night was definitely one of those dreams. Um, if you follow our Facebook group, I titled the dream Exodus, <laughs> so it was pretty intense. Um, but yeah, you can, uh, what you do is just, like I said, you make a fine powder, you shake it up in water, and it, it forms a foam, it forms a froth. Now you can either chew on the herb, you don't have to do what I'm doing right here, you can just chew on it right before you go to bed, or you can make a tea 